Hi and welcome to Fresh from my garden. Many of us who love nature and gardening might not know where to start. This was me a few years back and now I have learned a lot over the years with experience and tips from friends and family. In this video I am sharing some tips for beginners. Please make sure to watch till the end. The first step in gardening is preparing the soil. To prepare the soil, we need to loosen up the soil, remove all the weeds and rocks, add some compost and organic manure to the soil and mix in well. It's very important for the soil to be loosened so that the root can grow well. The nutrients added in the initial days will also help the plant to grow healthy and disease free. We have rich red soil in our garden to which we are adding cow dung manure, neem cake and compost. Once the weeds and the rocks in the soil are removed and the soil is loosened after adding some manure and compost, it is ready for growing any plant of your choice. Maintaining a watering schedule is the next important step in gardening. The best times to water your garden is early in the morning or in the evenings. If you would love to shower your plants including the leaves, the best time to water is in the morning. If you are watering your plants in the evening, it's better to water only the roots of the plant. If the leaves of the plant remain wet overnight, it will attract fungal disease and pests. It's also not advisable to water during the mid morning or afternoon since it will burn the roots of your plants. So the best time to water your plant is always early in the morning or in the evenings. Mulching is also a method to conserve water since it prevents evaporation and keeps the soil moist. Regular fertilizing is required so that your plants will get all the nutrients to grow well. You can find the details to some organic fertilizers that we use in the description link below. Another important tip for beginners is to grow local produce based on the season in your area. Local varieties are more disease resistant and will give you a better output than hybrid varieties. You can check your local garden center or nurseries for varieties that grow well in your area. These are some of the summer crops that we are growing in our garden. Companion planting is a natural form of pest control in your garden. It attracts pollinators and beneficial insects to your garden and prevents many bugs and insects from attacking the crops in your garden. We usually plant marigold, basil, garlic and many other plants as companion plants for our other vegetable crops. I hope this beginner's guide encourages all of you to start gardening. Thanks for watching Fresh from my garden.